Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for watching. Now, have you ever wondered uh, how mechanical interlock really protects your circuit? Have you ever put that into perspective? Now, we know that uh, in changeover, uh, in wearing electrical changeovers, we must have these interlocks because we know that if these two powers, the main utility power and the generator power, if they meet up, it's an explosion. Your installation can be burnt to ash, okay? Yeah, in most cases, okay, it becomes so vulnerable. So how much can this automatic changeover be safe for use? Now, all these interlocks, mechanical and electrical, are there in protect for both our lives and our beautiful installations okay so today we are looking at how much this guy here can protect your installation i'm doing this demonstration with the novato bf 40 it's a, a very good and uh, durable contractor actually there are very few on the market these days because they are quite expensive and it's around 60 amps so it's portable but it carry high current okay and um, this is uh, the part that will help us to do the mechanical interlock now i have two breakers here which are gonna mimic two types of power that is the main utility and the generator okay and then we are just going to use these lights here so each light, each light will be independent on one conductor. And then we see, yeah, how do you think can really uh, protect us? Okay? So let's just put the thing together and then we see what we have. So first of all, we need to lock this conductor together because that's when the thing will work for us. Okay? So if you have to make this thing lie and then voila. So then you get this and then you just put it here. Then it goes inside. So so this it's locked. Okay? Let's put these connections together and see. this and see how much this can really uh, protect us so here I've now done this each conductor has got a light uh, independent of it okay so we want to see if one conductor is running and then we run the other we see if its light will go on so let's begin with the first one so contact PC is running and the light is growing okay now let's see conductor MC. Now conductor MC is running. Okay. Now if conductor S, uh, MC is running, now let's see if this can really come in. So let's try. You see? So it can't really come in. So let's try another way. So let's put contact PC on. Now contact PC is on. Now let's try to run contact MC. You see? So the contactor will only make a noise because 
you supplied the coil, you supplied it with current. And when you supply the coil, it will definitely create that magnetic field which will then want to pull the armature so that to close the contact. But because it is interlocked with this guy here, so it will be tempted to pull, the coil will tempt to pull the armature, but it will hang. So what will happen that if that thing happens for quite some time, then the coil will blow. Okay? Yeah, because now the coil will draw much current to meet that demand and then later the coil will blow. But the protection is there. You see. So this conductor it can't come in. It will just make that noise there, but it will it, it will not come in. Okay. So hope you've seen that guys thank you very much if you're really wondering uh, see how much this interlock can protect ourselves mechanically uh, that's it that's why you see that we normally do this and also do the mechanical i mean the electrical interlock to triple the protection almost all contactors that are being used are that are on market they are they all have a capability of of, you know interlocking it so all these contactors you are able to see this hole here okay this hole here it's for interlocking you have all these this is abb you are able to interlock all these kind of uh you know contactor they always put this here so you are able to to interlock them though we have a contactor like this uh this is a lovato uh BF9K. This one you don't interlock them actually. This particular type of contactor it's being used in a power factor collection. So these are the type of contactor that you use in a power factor collection. So this one you don't then you can't interlock them. So thank you very much guys for watching. I really appreciate your time at Electrica. If you've not subscribed, please consider doing that because much more are still coming don't forget to like and share this video if you know any person that this kind of content can really work for them thank you very much and bye for now